What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Old School RuneScape's Luckiest Players for the month of September. In this one, we have some good submissions. I'm also going to be working our collection log submissions back into these videos just to tie it all up into one video instead of, you know, having a collection log video and a lucky players video. They're pretty much one in the same. So we will be checking out amazing collection logs in this video as well. If you have something that you think could contribute to one of these videos and get featured, check the description down below. All of your instructions for submitting to these videos will be listed down there. Without further ado, as usual, we're going to start out with our luckiest clue scrolls for the month of September, and we're going to kick it off with our third age clues. Starting this one off, we have the Iron Man Chrissy 906 IM on an unknown hard casket. Can't see the KC, so we don't know what the count was. Regardless, third age kite shield for Chrissy 906. Not sure what the value is here either, because it's also not in the chat window. Next up is Diliotic with a hard casket number 315, pulling in a third age helmet 17.5 mil. Kiesel P09, hard casket number 183, pulling in the third age kite shield, 29 million GP. Slayer 824, hard casket number 131, third age plate body for this one, 108 million GP. Next up is Big A977 on elite casket number 29 with the help of the Mimic. Can't see the Mimic KC. In there but regardless another third age kite shield for this video 29.9 million master casket number 108 for rvm pulling in the third age range legs for 22 million gp and our last third age submission for this month comes in from diabetics pulling in a third age wand on master casket number 101 clue is valued at 104 million gp Next up is our other lucky clue scroll. Starting this section off is going to be Lethal Strain on Easy Casket number 5, pulling in the Cape of Skulls. Next up is Diliotic again, who we saw in the Third Age section. Medium Casket number 1232 and 1233, pulling in the back-to-back -back Ranger Boots. Next up is Sanzo, Medium Casket number 389 and 392, pulling in Ranger Boots on both of those clues, just four clues apart. Step Lancer, another Ranger boot submission here. Medium casket 151 and 153, just two clues apart. Double Ranger boots. Medium casket number two for arrow repair, pulling in the Ranger boots and almost a hardcore. Medium casket number one, pulling in them holy sandals. Into our hard caskets, Iron Man I am Nickscape on hard casket number 140, pulling in a gilded plate body, 3.1 million. Master Casket number four for Chef, Chef Chungus, pulling in the Anku Mask and the Anku Top in the same clue. Not bad loot for that one. And our last clue submission for this month comes in from All Red. Master Casket number one, pulling in the 1 in 1000 Bloodhound Pet. Moving into our next section, we're going to check out our luckiest PVM item drops for this month. And we're going to start off with our top 10s. 10KC Tanzanite Fang for the Iron Man Soft Axe Man. Also got a Serpentine Visage before 10KC as well, so not bad. 10KC KQ Head for Master Ninja. 10KC Armadil Crossbow for Zef Zefska. Zef Zefsa? Close enough. 9KC Primordial Crystal for Suff Spectre. 8KC Bando's Chest Plate for OG Krusty Mac 2. 7KC Spectral Sigil for Sanzo. 7KC Jar of Darkness for Skin E, 6KC Magic Fang for the Iron Man Gwen Stefani, 5KC Enhanced Weapon Seed for Ped GG2. I could barely actually read that. Like it almost didn't make it into the video, but you guys gotta take better screenshots, man. 5 and 7KC here for James James pulling in Archer's Rings almost back to back. 4KC Armadillo Helm for Master Ninja. 3KC Trident of the Seas for WTF My Dog, 3KC Smoldering Stone for Adavaton, 3KC Serpentine Visage for the Iron Man Soft Axe Man, we saw earlier with that 10KC Tanzanite Fang, 3KC Ceridoman Hilt for John Palms, 3KC Jar of Stone for Capiccio, 3KC Enhanced Weapon Seed from the Corrupted Gauntlet for Gandalf, 
3KC Briophidus Essence for Jesse 076. 3KC Armadale Crossbow for Omnilex. 2KC, or rather the second Laren's Key, for the Iron Man Iron Tossy Dagon High Hat. 2KC Jar of Stone for the Iron Man The Iron Isles. And a 2KC Briophidus Essence for KC Hill Giant Club. And a 7KC Briophidus Essence for Matt World. Moving into our super lucky players, these are our one KC PVM item drops. Zefsa with a Zamoraki and Spear, X Sliffer with a Primordial Crystal, Sil Beach, Bandos Tacits, Zarek with a Zamoraki and Spear, Swin Diesel, Hill Giant Club, Sakali Toro with a Black Tourmaline Core, Ratchet with a Zamoraki and Spear, Pet Next Kill, Armadale Chestplate, Luck Around with some Bandos Tacits, Iron Boy, by the way, was in Iron Man, imagine that. Varax Top from Barrows. Hernandez with an Inquisitor's Hallberk. Gunchy with a Zamorakian Spear. Gratis Beer with the Bottomless Compost Bucket from the Hespori. Deputy Dwight the Iron Man with a Dragon Pickaxe from Callisto. Berserk to Urk with a Dexterous Prayer Scroll. Errol's Bay. Arcane Sigil from the Corporal Beast. And O7 Avenger with a Dark Tourmaline Core. Next up is going to be our back-to-back -back drops. Got a few of them for this month. Zezima's Tower with back-to-back -back unsires on 457 and 458 KC. Plus, why not? Let's grab another one just a few kills later. Also at 465 KC. Kind of mad, though. Didn't get to see what the drops were. Y6MR with a Jar of Swamp and a Pet Snakeling from Zalra, 26 and 27 KC. Stone to 84 with the Primordial Crystals on 2,565 and 2,566 KC. Only slapping with Tyrannical Rings, 13 and 14 KC. Keen to Pet, Armadil Chestplate, Armadil Chestplate, and an Armadil Helm. So that's the back-to-back-to-back, -to -back -to -back, 96, 97, and 98 KC. Ivermectin, the Iron Man with an Armadil Skirt and Plate Body, 647 and 648 KC. Don J. Trump. With an Archer's Ring and a Berserker's Ring on the back-to-back -back DK Brother kills. 590 for Rex and 499 for Supreme. Cole's Music with Serpentine Visages. 397 and 398 KC. And our last one comes in from Third Range with Primordial Crystal into Hell Puppy. 1435 and 1436 KC. And as always, we can't forget about our other lucky players because low KCs and back-to-backs are not the only thing that we check out. First up is Zakao Mole pulling in Elijah Sigil at 23 KC. Turbo Tots the Iron Man with a Dragon Harpoon at 18 KC. Dragon Throne Axe at 36 KC. And a Dragon Sword at 45 KC at the Worms. Tore up with an Inquisitor's Helm and a Harmonized Orb in the same kill, 168 KC. Thanos Right. With an Abyssal Dagger from the Abyssal Demons, 1 in 32k on that drop rate. C drop with 5 Spectral Sigils, no Arcane and no Elijah, but 5 Spectral Sigils, 1,203kc. Sugar Free pulling in both Mutagens from Zalra, sub 250kc, pulling the Magma in on 193 in the Tanzanite at 236. Space Ace 120 with 4 Archer's Rings in 55 kills, 1 in 128 on the drop rate on those Archer Rings. Smite Yanan with an Eternal Gem and a Whip from the same Greater Abyssal Demon. Not bad from the Superior. Pocket with two Claws, three Leathers, and a completed Ring at the Hydra in just 139 total kills. That is one task, or even less, depending on how much you're assigned. Mr. Rango with almost back-to-back -back Harmonized Orbs, 272 and 274 KC. Momo Flip with a 1,361 KC Claw, 1,367 KC Ickle Hydra, just six kills apart. Mobile UIM, this is an ultimate Iron Man, with an imbued heart at 43 KC. Gotta be nice on the ultimate. Mini Lil Panda with a completed bludgeon and just three unsired, 76 KC. Mad Duchess with an Armadale Crossbow on KC 83 and 86, just three kills apart. Keys cast with two Imp Champion scrolls in the same chat window. Those are 1 in 5,000. Jersey Thing 21 with a Hydra Claw at 25 KC. HC Kronk RN, the Hardcore Iron Man, pulling in a Draconic Visage from Steel Dragons. 1 in 10,000 on that drop rate. 
Grandpa Mojo with a Hydro Claw at 14 KC. Gaming Cal the Iron Man with one Pegasian Crystal and three Primordial Crystals and just 100 mate Cerberus kills. Fruit with a Crystal Armor Seed and Enhanced Weapon Seed on the same drop. Didn't get the KC in the screenshot, but it is in the chat window. Finical Four with an Elijah Sigil at 23 KC. Feet Deadly the Iron Man. Dragon Warhammer at just 32 KC. One in 5,000 for those. EU my. 1,190, got the dust, 1,195, a twisted kit with a T-bow split in there, 1,200, another dust, 1,203 for the twisted bow, 1,206 for another twisted bow. These are all challenge mode chambers of Xerix on September 9th and 10th, pulling in all those drops in just two days for one dude. Eat my pasta with a Jar of Darkness and an Uncut Onyx, 17 KC. That's pretty cool to see. The Jar of Darkness is so hard to get. Uncut Onyx is also very rare. See them both in the same drop. Very nice. Dump Swing with an almost back-to-back -back Trident of the Seas, 1998 and 2000 KC. And pulled another one in just a little bit later on 2014 KC. DIY Till I Die the Iron Man, pulling a Dragon Chain Body from Dust Devils. It's 1 in 32,000. Koji with four unsired and a completed bludgeon at just 66 KC. Budgie Luck with a Magma Mutagen, Serpentine Visage, and an Elite Clue all in the same drop at Zalra, 710 KC. Buchu the Iron Man, three unsired for the completed bludgeon in 101 Abyssal Sire kills. Brad 017, two scythes at the Theater of Blood in just 29 KC. Pulling those purples in and just getting the scythes. Azurna the Iron Man, Pulling in the first purple at the Chambers of Zarek. Pulling in that Twisted Bow in the very first purple of the account. 98 KC. Alfredo, Primordial Crystals on 853, 862, and 895 KC. Just 42 kills apart for those three. Easy 60 mil. Third World Sherald, I don't know what that name is. Three Hydra Claws on the first task. 201 KC. Icky, almost back-to-back -back Dagon High Hats for our last submission, the 11th and the 13th Larens key used. Next up is our PVM pet section. We're checking out low KCs as well as some other lucky pet drops. Starting off with our top 25 for the pets. Xternal at 25 KC with a little nightmare pet. 21 KC Scorpius Offspring for BBC. 21 KC Pet Snakeling for Macermat69. 18 KC Seracnus Pet for Cats Go Meow. Tiberium pulling in the 18 KC Noon Pet. Daddy Bundy with an 18 KC Little Nightmare. WTF My Dog with 16 KC Kraken Pet. Captain Jungle with a 13 KC Vorkath Pet. Crit, by the way, the Iron Man with an 11 KC Vorky Pet. 11 KC Bomelet for Fiv Bucks 5. That is the Tebow and the Omelet in the same drop. 9 KC Young Lift Pet for Couch Forehead. 9 KC Held Puppy for Bat Canary. 8 KC, or rather 8 Spoils of War, Lil Creator for Step Bro Y. 7 KC Pet General Grador for Cut and Renar. 7 KC Pet Chaos Elemental from the Chaos Fanatic. It's 1 in 1000 there for Wasurp. 6 KC Scorpius Offspring for Semen Sauce. <laughs> oh, Jesus. 5 KC Young Lift Pet at the Corrupted Gauntlet for Booby Juice. C come on, man. Semen Sauce and Booby Juice? Are you serious? Uh, 5 KC Seracnus Pet for Matke is 22. 5 KC Pet Zilliana for Shaggy Nuts. Semen Sauce, Booby Juice, and Shaggy Nuts. Why? Uh, 3KC Skotos Pet for Dan Rizla. 3KC Pet Chaos Elemental from the Chaos Elemental for the Iron Man IM Nickscape. 3KC Hell Puppy for Slayer 16 mil underscore XP. Interesting name. 2KC Young Lift Pet from the Corrupted Gauntlet for Jungle Kitty. 2KC Vedion Pet for Faded Gemini. 2KC Skotos for X Vape Wizard. 2KC Jad. Pet for Im Immer Rip or Piru Immer Immer. I, I don't know, guys. I give up on that one. Pet was off task though. 2KC Jad Pet for Dib Kiss and a 2KC Mole Pet for 3MT. For our 1KC pets this month, we only got five of them this month, which is 
Interesting. It's usually a lot more. September must have been an, an unlucky month for the pets. Wanum with a Chaos Elemental pet from the Chaos Elemental. Snuts with a Skodos pet on 1kc, followed by the Dark Claw at 3kc and a Jar of Darkness at 5kc. Mouse Degree with a Jad pet on 1kc. Big Floppy Taco with the Noon pet. And last is going to be, again, 3MT with the Zuck Pet. Moving into our other lucky pet drops, Warchester with a Hell Puppy and a Pagasian Crystal in the same drop, 287 KC. The Engineer with a Nickel Hydra, Jar of Chemicals, and a Brimstone Key all in the same drop, 3,743 KC. Saline S7 with a Young Lift and Enhanced Weapon Seed. Don't know the KC on it, but it's there. Shazzle with three Hydra pets within 41 kills, 3701, 3736, and 3742. By the way, this dude has seven Hydra pets in 3743 kills. That is nuts. Resort with a second Vorkath pet at 242 KC. Look in Iron, the Iron Man, with a Sriracha pet on September 8th at 323 KC. A couple days later, Pulls in another one on September 10th, 421kc, less than 100 kills apart. Diliak, Diloyak, Diloyak, Ring of Endurance and a Giant Squirrel Pet upon getting 99 agility. Dude got the Ring of Endurance, the pet, and 99 agility all at the same time. Booty Bandit with a Pet Kraken and a Trident of the Seas on 734kc. A13 green with six Scotizo pets and three Dark Claws in 67 KC. And last but not least for our PVM pet section is going to be Finical 4 pulling in a pet Dark Core on 32 KC. Skilling pets are up next and they are pretty rare, so let's check out what September has for us here. Level 80 mining for Dark Matters off of a tier 1 shooting star pulling in that mining pet. 1 in 909,000 on the odds for that. 79 Thieving from a Master Farmer, pulling in the Rocky Pet for the Iron Man Wome, 1 in 255k. 77 Runecrafting over at the Blood Runes, the Iron Man Christmas Nut, pulling in the Runecrafting Pet with a 1 in 803,000 base chance. 51 Thieving for 1090 Jake over at the Fruit Stalls, 1 in 122k. 47 Mining for Fracking Iron. Iron Man at the Motherload Mine, 1 in 246k on that one. Level 42 Agility at the Canifus Rooftop, 1 in 35,000 on your odds for Infamous, 39. 35 Agility over the Varrock Course, 1 in 23.5k for this one for Sushi Chess. At level 28 Farming, Base God 2244, pulling in the Farming Pet. We don't know what the action is, but regardless, level 28 Farming. Level 16 Agility. In Drainer Village, 1 in 32,000 on your odds for the Hardcore Iron Man checking you out. And level 4 agility for Ol' Zaya, the Gnome Stronghold, 1 in 35,000. Not bad. As for our KCs for the month, we only have one. Just one this month. So it goes out to Garkon Hunter pulling in the 8KC Temporos pet. As for our other lucky PVM, I'm sorry, Skilling pets for this month, VB4 has pulled in four runecrafting pets at 92 runecrafting. Dude also has the heron, the beaver, and the squirrel. Plank Ocean the Iron Man pulling in their second farming pet from Seaweed at just 66 farming. Kim Heavy with a double beaver, pulling in two beavers by just 70 woodcutting. Gretch with three runecrafting pets at 84 runecrafting. That is also equally, just, just equally as impressive as four of them at 92. Doris SSF is going to be our last one for this month for the skilling pets. This is an Iron Man pulling in two tiny tempers on September 11th. Less than 1,000 fishing XP apart. Check that XP out and the dates both listed there. Two pets less than 1,000 XP apart on September 11th. For our last section this month, we're working them collection logs back into these videos. So, we're going to start out here with Xenax 17 at the Demonic Gorillas, pulling in six Zenite shards, 582 KC. One in, one, one in 300 on the drop rate. Dude's averaging a Zenite every less than one in 100 kills. Thought Mints 48, the Iron Man over at the Gauntlet, completing the log without any duplicates. 
51 KC in a Gauntlet and 9 KC in a Corrupted Gauntlet. That's pretty rare. Stoned 84, Armadillo God Wars Dungeon, completing the log without any duplicate items, 765 KC. Stall low X at the Chambers of Zarek. Dude has two Twisted Bows in the log at 32 KC. Only drops the dude has gotten two T-Bows. Two purples, two T-Bows. Prefix over at Zamorak God Wars Dungeon, only missing the pet at 156 KC. Oxy at the Vedion boss in the wilderness, missing a dragon two-handed sword only, 336 KC. By the way, this account is a 60 attack pure. New Gen Rain Man, pulling in six unsired at the Abyssal Sire. Those are one in 100 in less than 100 KC. 91 KC, this guy is six unsired, only missing the pet here. Memra over at the Gauntlet, completing the log with five pets, 14 armor seeds and 15 weapon seeds, two enhanced weapon seeds, 276 Gauntlet KC and 617 Corrupted Gauntlets. LD Cloat Vule with the Hydra log, completing this one, only duping the jar and the heads in 790 KC. La Tortellini at the Kraken, completing this log with the pet as the final drop, 587 KC. Jakku at the Gauntlet, five enhanced weapon seeds, but is missing the pet. Nonetheless, pretty nice log, 36 Gauntlet KC and 1,200 Corrupted Gauntlets. Ivermectic, the Iron Man over at Armadil God Wars Dungeon, completing the log for the Iron Man, 650 KC. I'm Incredible, also over at Armadil, completing this log at 507 KC. I'm Incredible, again, with a Zolcano log, this one's completed as well, 278 KC. Onyxes came from Zolra, obviously. GF Bra over at the Gauntlet, completing this log without any duplicate drops. Again, 100 Gauntlet KC, 18 Corrupted Gauntlets. That's, again, that's... They don't see that much. A completed log with more normal gauntlet kills than corrupted. Philo over at Cerberus completing this log with four primordial crystals and four smoldering stones in just 633 KC. Edward at Cerberus, three log completions. The log has been completed three times in 2559 KC. Ten Eternals, seven Pegasians, three primordial crystals, six smoldering stones, and three pets in there. Dull Dog Walk, the Iron Man, another gauntlet submission, completing this log with three enhanced weapon seeds, 53 gauntlet kills, and 64 corrupted gauntlets. Autism Locked, another Iron Man at the gauntlet, completing this log with two enhanced weapon seeds, 13 normal gauntlets, and 136 corrupted gauntlets. Ali Larson at the Abyssal Sire, seven unsired in 178 KC, and our last submission again, it's the third time we've seen him in this video. 3MT over at the Calfight Queen, completing the KQ log, 562 KC. All right, everybody, that is going to do it for Old School RuneScape's Luckiest Players for September. I hope that you have enjoyed the video. Those of you that submitted, thank you for submitting. If you didn't make the cut this time, keep trying. Maybe you'll get it next time. If you liked the video, please leave a thumbs up down below. And if you haven't done so yet, tap that subscribe button on your way out. Thank you all for watching. I will see you on the next one. Take it easy, everybody.